Shabbat Shalom, world. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for this word of truth and sincerely. Yeah, Shalom to the Hakim, sky through the four corners of the globe, Christian word of truth and sincerely. And yeah, Shalom to the Hakim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian word of truth and sincerely. I say Shalom to you, uh, Hakim out there. And this is a, uh, another sit down lesson through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy at the Hawaii Yawashai on this uh, September the 8th, 2022. And this is uh, another news update in regards to uh, wars, rumors of wars, and nations arise against nations. And this is from the uh, Associated Press News .com. And this is by Nicholas Pathosis, if I pronounce his last name right. And this was uh, reported yesterday. And now uh, the highlight of this news article it reads. Uh, Greece warns allies of Turkey conflict danger amend tensions right because I believe like a few days ago uh, uh, the president of Turkey was talking about the situation the somewhat animosity increasing between the Greece army and Turkey as well too I believe uh, fighting over, over an island or something like that and I'm going to uh, read the news article. And it says, uh, at Athens, Greece, Associated Press, the Greece government has written to the country's NATO and European Union partners and the head of the United Nations asking them to formally condemn increasingly aggression, aggressive talks by official neighboring Turkey and suggesting that current bilateral tensions could escalate into a second open conflict over European soil. In the letters, copies of which were seen by the Associated Press Greek Foreign Minister Niskos, this guy said that behavior behavior of the country's historical regional rival and NATO allies should be censored by the three bodies, not by doing so in time or by under underestimating uh, the seriousness of the matter. We were witnessing again a situation similar to that currently unfolding in some other parts of our continent, he wrote in a allusion to the war in Ukraine. This is something none of us would really wish to see. The letter dated Monday and Tuesday comes at a low point in relations between the two neighbors of Greece and uh, Turkey, who are separately by century, centuries of long enmity and contemporary disputes including egg and sea boundaries and immigration. Greece and Turkey have come to close war three times in the half century. On Tuesday, Turkey's president reiterated a thin veil invasion threat made over the week weekend. Athens responds that it's ready to defend its sovereignty. That do kind of sound like a similar to uh, the Russia-Ukraine team and um, over there in the South China Sea as well too between uh, China and uh, Taiwan. It do kind of sound similar to that. So yeah, hey, these uh, wars and rumors of wars are definitely heating up between the nations even though they have long stand conflicts with one another over economic disputes uh, political disputes uh, island disputes uh, oil disputes soil disputes and many other different things you know and so yeah these uh, wars and rumors of wars are definitely heating up against the nations
I mean, um, the nations rising against nations increasingly more than ever, as I stated previous, uh, covering these stories as I do sit down lessons to this through the spirit of progress and mercy of the hell way I'm shy, you know. And bring out Matthews 24 and 6. That's the scripture that I always bring out. Because as you see, I've been doing the lessons of these, you know, as I stated before, of the wars and rumors of wars are definitely heating up now more than ever. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to their heads, but the end is not yet. Right? Because the reason why the end is not yet, because more upcoming prophecies are going to take place on the planet Earth. And as we're seeing it increasing, and we're seeing these things right in front of our eyes, you know. On an everyday basis, we see these things in the news. Now, everything is not going to be 100% true in the news, which we already know that for sure. And a lot of times, it's going to be actually true and very real as well, too. Just like I mentioned before previously and stating once again, you know, the wars and rumors of wars. You just hear it in the news. Might not be 100% accurate of a rumor of war. Then there's going to be times where, in the times that we are living in, you're going to have these rumors of wars are actually going to be true, you know. And they're going to take effect around the world as it increases. And this is the book of Matthew 24 and 7. For nations shall rise against nations, as we're seeing right now. And kingdom against kingdoms, we see that as well too. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, because we're going to see the increase of these nations are definitely highly rising up against one another in different kingdoms as well too. You know, as these nations go toe to toe on many different uh, things that they uh, talk about, you know, as it's going to heat heat up more and more and more, you know. And uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter twenty-one, verse nine. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9, and it reads, But when ye shall hear of commotion, I mean, yeah, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Right, because we're seeing these things uh, coming to pass, you know, because we're going to see more different things come to pass as well, too, with that digital currency, you know, that, uh, that Karagma, which is recorded in the book of Revelation, verse uh, 16 through verse 17, we're going to see that take effect as well, too. In the Revelation 11 and 14, the second one was passed, behold, the third one coming quickly, as we see in that taking effect as well, too. That's a prophecy, that's a huge prophecy going to come up as well, too, along with the other huge prophecy as well, too, with the MOTB that Karagma, you know? So, yeah. All these things are definitely coming to pass, and we're seeing it right before our eyes, you know. And it's going to increase more and more and more, you know. <clears throat> and I'm going to bring out the Luke 21 and 25, I believe. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21 and verse 25, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. <clears throat>
Salakia. Salakia for my father. You know, I would just talk to my brother. But uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25, and it reads, uh, There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth the squares of nations, which perplex the uh, seas and roaring uh, sea and the rays warm. Right, because we see the uh, uproars of the people in the world. We see the signs in the in the in the skies. You know, we see the blood moons. We see the dust storms. You know, we see chariot sightings. We see the disgust of nations of uh, nations rising up against one another. Uh, different kingdoms, uh, different cities. You know, we see the, all these things taking place up our, in the world today. Especially on the upwards of the people of the world, and then the nations rising up against nations. That's the addition of more man type spirit increasing more than ever, you know. So, we're going to see these things increasingly more and more and more because these are showing the signs of the times of what time that we are in, you know. So, with that, I uh, hope this uh, sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of the Hallelujah Yavashah. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Muslim. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom and above the ball.